and story time. Hi everyone. Today we're talking about problems. Do you know what that word means? Hmm. A problem is something that makes things hard. Something that causes you trouble. That's right. Is it something you usually want to have? Well, when I have a problem, I start to worry. Me too. I don't like to worry. I feel upset all day long, and sometimes it makes my stomach hurt. Oh, that's not good. So what do we do with a problem? Well, Mom gave me this book. It's called What Do You Do With a Problem? Oh, well that sounds like a great way to find some answers. Let's read it together. What do you do with a problem? Written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by May Basum. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself. But it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready. And I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. Wow, what a great book. So every problem has an opportunity for something good. That's right. Every problem has an opportunity. Let's say that three times together. Every problem has an opportunity. Every problem has an opportunity. Every problem has an opportunity. Anytime you have a problem, try to see the secret opportunity it has. Don't be afraid of a problem. And you can always ask a grown-up to help you find the secret opportunity in any problem if you're having trouble. That's a great idea. And you can always write us a message in the comments below or send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, love yourself and each other. 
And make up your mind, choose to be kind. 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 Turn our channel and subscribe for more stories and more songs. Here at Storytime with Annie and Rocco. Bye for now. Have a great day. Make up your mind, choose to be kind. Make up your mind, choose to be kind. Make up your mind, choose to be kind.